What's up everyone? Let's talk about live doc meetings. So at GitLab, we are often asked, what kind of tools do you use to make your remote team work effectively? Well, we use GitLab for all of our project management, but we also use a lot of common tools in an uncommon way. One of those is Google Docs. We use them in live doc meetings. And so I wanna go through an overview of our handbook page, as well as a demo on how this works. For many companies, embracing documentation is the start of becoming a more disciplined and cohesive remote team. And you don't have to implement a brand new tool to get this started. You simply need to use a shared doc service that you're already using in an uncommon way by being very disciplined about attaching Google Doc agendas or shared doc agendas to every work-related meeting. So in the GitLab handbook, which I will link in the YouTube description below, we explain how we do this. We're very disciplined about attaching a Google Doc agenda ahead of time to any work-related synchronous meeting. Now, we do everything we can to have a bias for asynchronous communication and workflows. So whenever an actual synchronous meeting has to happen, we want to make it as inclusive as possible, as easy to contribute as possible, and as easy to share information from that meeting with people who weren't even there as possible. Attaching a Google Doc agenda is a boring solution to accomplish this. And all it really requires is for you to adhere to this, don't take shortcuts and start a meeting without a Google Doc agenda, and make sure that you pause and take time to document during the meeting. Now this will slow the pace of your meeting somewhat, so it may feel a bit inefficient at first, but it actually enables your knowledge to scale much more quickly so you don't have to have follow-on meetings just to loop people in and bring them up to speed. So I'll link the handbook page, but I do wanna to touch on a few things that it prevents and that it accomplishes. First off, it, it prevents knowledge leaks. If you have meetings without agendas, it can be difficult to remember who said what or what decisions were made, or more importantly, the context that led to a given decision. There's also the reality of knowledge decay. The longer you go after saying something, the more difficult it is to precisely remember the context around it. So if you write it down as it's happening in real time, you shift all of that burden from yourself onto documentation. And the critical thing here is because it's attached to a calendar invite, you can search for years of calendar invites and find linked agendas to have context on how decisions were made eons ago, which is really, really useful if you're rehashing a certain metric or a certain strategy. If you think you remember having this discussion years ago, if you're a good enough searcher in your calendar, you will indeed be able to find documentation that brings that back to light and supports that. All right, so let's check out an actual example of this. So this is a live doc meeting template agenda document. I will link the template in the YouTube description so you don't have to start from scratch. There's an upfront on how this document works. So if you are sharing this with your team for the first time, I would encourage you to modify this for it to be applicable to your company so that people who are doing this for the first time get an overview and an understanding of how this document works and why you are using it to accomplish live doc meetings. You'll want to list out the host or the attendees so that people who aren't participating live will have an idea of who all was in attendance any background information or pre-read information, and then you can dive into questions. Now for an agenda format, we tend to use dates to compartmentalize what was said when. The beautiful thing about this is for a one-on-one -on -one agenda, for example, you can have one document that goes on for years. So you can actually scroll back through previous months and previous years to see what things were discussed. And if you have any of those deja vu moments, this makes it a lot easier to figure out what you were talking about on what day or what week. Pretty simple here. You can see that this was a conversation about an invoice that I would take an action item. There would be uh, an internal kickoff call. And then we switch subjects here to Coursera. Just a quick heads up, a bit of FYI. You will notice that things that can be linked, we try to link those to provide added context. And on today's date, I made a note to attach applicable documents to the YouTube description. So once I assign that to myself, it will kick over an email to me and remind me to do that. 
So hopefully you have found this useful. Thanks for tuning in. Aloha and mahalo.